High IBM does the DV2022 winners face same or similar obstacles as DV2021 winners? The answer is yes and no. I've already made a video uh, explaining the status of DV2021 winners and DV2022 winners. But if I put in a very summarized way, a very short and clear and not 15, 17 minutes answer, the DV, what are the obstacles DV2021 faced? They faced two uh, major setbacks or major problems or major obstacles. What are those? Obstacle number one was the issue of immigration suspension that the suspension which started in April 2020 until March 2021 no green card lottery winner was interviewed because of the suspension so for 12 months I mean 13 months no one was interviewed so yes it affects the V 2020 winners but for the V 2021 from October, when the new fiscal year 2021 started, up to end of March, it is more than six months, almost six months. So for that particular case, no people were interviewed. For that particular case, these individuals uh, remained with only six months to do the interview. But let's not blame just immigration suspension. I want to make it clear. We have the biggest setback, the pandemic, coronavirus. The pandemic affected people, affected the way we do. The embassies were closed. Not were closed because of the immigration suspension. The embassies were closed because it was difficult to operate during the pandemic. Just like now, there is no pandemic. I mean, there is no uh, immigration suspension, the one which was there. But still, the U.S. embassies and consulates around the world are not fully operational. And even if the U.S. embassy, they are interviewing people or inviting people for the interviews, still there is a big, uh, biggest uh, 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 the, uh, backlog. But also, the embassies have to find different ways on how they can interview people, many people, very, very quick. Because uh, in a normal way, uh, people are called to go to the U.S. visa interview, to the U.S. embassy. You go there, you are waiting on the bench or on the court, I mean the chairs in the waiting room within the consular session area. But now you cannot just go there and chill and wait because over there they have to create a social distance. So six feet apart according to the CDC guidelines. So for that particular case, they cannot have full operational just like even there was no pre-pandemic during the pre-pandemic. So yes, the V2022 winners, they will have some obstacles, but they might not be exactly like the obstacles of the V2021 winners. Because the biggest obstacle, the first six months, no interviews. Then after the interviews are starting after the immigration suspension, still the pandemic is there. So even if the Immigration suspension was not there. Beginning when the, the April, June, July, until December, even if the suspension was not supposed to be there, U.S. embassies and consulates were not operating because of the CDC guidelines. Remember, the CDC guidelines, they apply even to the U.S. embassies across the, uh, across the world because those are part of what? They are part of the big picture of the... Uh, of the U.S. government uh, area. So that is the reason why it has to be that way. So, yes, the DV2022, they will have one obstacle. The interviews will not be in a high speed like pre-pandemic. Because during the pandemic, it's difficult to see many people <coughs> to see many people going to the visa interviews. Now there will be a lot of limitation, as you can be able to see. Because some countries, they might have the third wave. 
whatever fourth wave comes, whatever it is of the virus, there might be special uh, guidelines, there might be special restrictions in the particular country, imposed by the particular country, so the US government or the US embassy has to comply by the local regulations or the local guidelines. So for that particular case, sometimes some people have the setback of that kind.